Hey guys, welcome back to Arbury Farm Life. It's cold outside. I am just in the heated room right now in the barn because um checking waters and making sure that our hydrant hasn't froze as it has in the past because of the way that I do things around here, which David loves. Um, so I'm just checking that out. Uh, we had an incident with the cow water freezing and it did some damage. So explain what happened with this. I didn't break it. What happened? <laughs> And it split because it froze. So I don't know if you can hear me because David has the music blaring always, but um, the pump uh, froze and kind of cracked for the cow pasture, for the water for the cow pasture, and then the hose froze. Um, and it was all because we lost hydro one night um, last week and it blew, it blew a uh, breaker in the, the, the water room where we keep all the equipment for the water for the hop yard and for the cows. And unfortunately it cracked. And so instead of going and buying a new one, David fixed it. He welded it together. It's nice to have someone around that can do those things because I have tried welding once and I hated it. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's what we always say around here. My daughter was wanting to come out. Kayla wanted to come out and lunch her horse the other day and this was all covered in snow and I was like, that is way too dangerous. So it's melted a little bit and we're expecting a storm. So I'm gonna pick up all these jumps that were left out. <laughs> And just put them aside for now and they can get them out if they need them but I doubt anyone's going to be jumping until spring anyway so they're going to get put away. Sorry Michaela. Thanks for cleaning up your mess. You just keep working Jack. Jen's first time with the Sawzall. <laughs> helping. <laughs> Winston! Yeah, now sit. Good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. It's time for a lunch break, which means a beer break. I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but we have been renovating my small bathroom in the house and it's almost done. There's a few little things that have to be finished um, just to kind of touch things up a little bit. There's another coat of paint that has to go on the shiplap and the rest of the trim has to be put on, but it looks really good. Ba, ba, ba. So this used to be like a little hole in the wall bathroom. It had pink bathtub, it had like turquoise tiles. It's horrible. Almost there. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> hey Jack. What you doing? Oh, you know. Stuff? A little frying. Recycling two by fours. 
Yes, that's what I need. Next. Yeah. <laughs> This is the pile of wood that we're working with here. And a bunch of it is actually really easy to take apart and reusable. So we're trying to, um, we heat with some of it and then we try and reuse some of the wood in the bigger ones. Um, and that's what Jack and I have been doing for the last hour, is taking apart skids so that we can use the wood. We have a lot of projects that we want to complete and really it's free wood. So if you can reuse it, why wouldn't you? It's just time consuming. <laughs> a lot of work. But Jack's doing the brunt of it, so it's not such a big deal. What are you building? Leading post. Horizontal walls. <laughs> Horizontal walls? One more thing for us to triple. <laughs> Winston, what's the chicken doing? So while they slave away at building a shelf, I'm fighting with cleaning out stalls. And the horses that seem to think that they need to be while I clean them up. Some days. Anyway. So one stall. Hallway. Build a bigger pen for that guy. Nettie. I really don't need your help. Nope. Thank you. Now you get the level? Did you? Is the barn level? Spot. Yeah, <laughs> don't get excited. So the end result of the day's work is this. David has built himself a workbench and somewhere for his saw. We cleaned out the entire barn floor, organized the extra wood, Raked up all the straw that was on the ground. After all that was done, so we moved the rams next to the ladies. So this is experimental and we'll see if it actually works. So far so good though. Rusty? Rusty? Hello? I just fed them so they don't care about me. So the rams are here and the ladies are over here now. You'll see a bunch of pink dots. Those are sheep that are pregnant. We're missing, I think there's three that aren't. And so the convenience of having the rams right here is that we can put the rams, um, we can put the rams and the sheep that haven't been, that aren't showing on the scans yet or at all in with the rams for now. Um, eventually, we're gonna test them again here probably in the next few days and see if there's anything we maybe just couldn't see it on the, on the scan. I don't really wanna do any late lambing, but we might as well. There's no point in not doing it. So um, yeah, so it's nice to see that the rams are over here. They have an, lots and lots of room to run around. They have company because the chickens are in with them all the time. It's nice to feel organized for the beginning of the year. And the final result, I love it. A few little things that need to be done, but nothing crazy. It's pretty much there. So shower, 
I have wanted this bathroom done for like five years now and finally it's there. So I'm super happy. So thanks again for watching guys. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe. We'll talk to you next week. Cheers.